In this short video we will see the importance and relevance of anisotropy whilst scanning in musculoskeletal pathologies. Here we see the plantar aspect of the second metatarsophalangeal joint, this echogenic structure being the undersurface of the second metatarsal head, and the second echogenic structure being the base of the proximal phalanx. The plantar plate is this echogenic structure extending from a relatively wide insertion onto the base of the proximal phalanx over the metatarsal head. In this image there appears to be a relatively hypoechoic area within the deeper articular side of the plantar plate, suggestive of a tear. However, if the toe is extended and the probe angled so that it hits this area more at 90 degrees, we see that the potential tear actually fills in and becomes echogenic. So this is a good example of an isotropy which is where the ultrasound beam fails to hit a relatively bright structure at 90 degrees and demonstrates the importance of moving the probe around uh, to ensure that all uh, structures are clearly visualized.